Day after King's Day, I fancy having an adventure outside Amsterdam. I noticed that there was a medieval city of Harlem nearby. Really, it was a great little day trip and had an afternoon free to explore. After the brunch, I decided to set out and do just that. So the train system is really well connected and just so efficient. It only takes about a 15 minute journey from Amsterdam Central to Harlem and it costs about 5 or 6 euros. As I was travelling to Harlem, I was wondering if there was any relationship between Harlem and New York Harlem. The Dutch had an outpost village in the 1600s called New Harlem, or translated New Harlem, which later got shortened to Harlem. So there you go, you learnt something new today. Anyway, back to the journey. Walking around, there was the very typical, very Dutch type buildings and you could definitely see that there was a very strong relationship to the past when, and as you would expect, it was a lot quieter than Amsterdam. If you're a big fan of Art Deco or Art Nouveau, you're in for some absolute treats. The V&D or Room and Drasman building, which previously was a department store, a great example of Art Deco, found out that train station appeared in Ocean's 12 pretending to be Amsterdam train station. The main focus of the town is the main square or Grot Market, which you can also find St. Barbo Cathedral. The main market I could see was really really quite nice, unfortunately they had a bit of a fairground which kind of quite detracted from this whole middle evil uh, look and feel I was expecting. It's free to go inside to visit the cathedral and it's done in a very gothic style so look out for things like the pointed arches and the tall windows. One of the main elements that stuck out was the grand organ. It absolutely dominates the whole back of the cathedral. Very, very picturesque. If you're out for shopping, then you're in a bit of luck. Harlem has been voted regularly the best shopping city in the whole of the Netherlands. There's lots of chains and some really cool little boutiques and independent stores that's worth checking out. And then after all of that, there's loads of places to chill out and I decided to take some time out and head to a tea house to have some tea and cake. Fortunately, I ran out of time to check out the museums and some other highlights, so I'll probably be coming back for that. But to wrap up, it's a really good city day trip and definitely worth staying for the night. I really enjoyed looking up and down and checking out the different architectural gems. Well, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed my little visit to Harlem. Definitely hit the subscribe button for more vlogs like this and more informative pieces and ideas what to do and where to go. I'd love to hear from you. Add some comments in the description for other ideas of what I could do when I come back to Harlem. I'll see you at the next video. And since I'm in Harlem, there's only one way to end this vlog. I'm shit.